The Rockwell Messerschmitt Bulkoff Blohm X-31 was an experimental jet, designed for testing fighter thrust vectoring technology. It was part of a joint U.S. and German enhanced fighter maneuverability program, to provide significantly more maneuverability than most conventional fighters. The airframe of the X-31 was not based on any earlier design, although it borrowed some elements and parts from previous aircraft designs. Borrowed elements and parts were used to reduce development time and risk. The X-31 had a canard delta design, and a crank delta wing and fixed strakes along the aft fuselage. The canards were movable and computer-controlled, and the aircraft had no movable horizontal tail surfaces. Originally the design used a vertical fin with rudders, but eventually it was found that the aircraft would be stable without the vertical fin, since the thrust vectoring nozzles provided enough yaw and pitch control. Two X-31s were built. The first flight took place on October 11, 1990, and more than 500 test flights were made between 1990 and 1995. In 1992, the X-31 achieved controlled flight at a 70 degrees angle of attack. In April 1993, the second X-31 successfully executed a rapid minimum radius, 180 degrees turn using a post-stall maneuver, flying well outside the range of angle of attack normal for conventional aircraft. This has been called the Herb's Maneuver. Between 2000 and 2003, the X-31 was used for testing that the inertial navigation system or global positioning system accurately guides the aircraft, with the centimeter accuracy required for on-the-ground landings. This culminated in the first-ever autonomous landing of a manned aircraft with high angle of attack and short landing. The first prototype crashed in January 1995. The pilot ejected safely. The last flight of the X-31 took place in 2003.